what is going on guys and welcome to episode 10 of the Chelsea Let's Play series here on FM20 and today is the last game of the season so we will have that against Norwich and then we will have a bit of a end of season roundup if you like. Since I was last with you it's not gone particularly well as you can see Liverpool was our last game since then yeah, not too good. We responded to the Liverpool loss with a 2-0 win against Burnley, which is good, what we expected. I think they were bottom of the league at the time. Tammy and Hudson-Odoi grabbed the goals in a, what was a routine win. We then went to City and got absolutely hammered. The same scoreline that we suffered a month earlier. Aguero with two and Stones with the third. And yeah, we were... Um, yeah, we were torn apart, as we always are against the big teams. You'll notice as well, um, after the last couple of episodes, in this run of games, I dropped Kepper, and if anything, it's come back to bite me in the arse, to be honest. Um, and then in our most recent game, we lost 1-0 at home to West Ham. So, you know, that was always good. We played a couple of, you know, sort of rotated side. We did in this one. And yeah, Felipe Anderson scored the goal to win um to win the game for them and it's just yeah it's just been a, a bit of a torrid time that then has a, opened the door for arsenal there are three points behind us and to be fair we would need to lose they need to win and a monumental goal uh, goal difference shift luckily for us arsenal are playing liverpool who have yet to secure the title so liverpool will be going all out for it you'd think which stands us in good stead. Obviously, we are away at Norwich, who are in mid-table. But that is the the table as it stands. So even though we're in fourth, we are currently 16 points behind Liverpool, which is madness. We're 11 points behind third place. Um, yeah, which is just madness. In terms of down the bottom, Villa and Burnley already relegated. It's between Southampton and Brighton, that last spot. So let's get into the game. This is the team that I am going with. Still no Kepa because, to be quite frank, he has pissed me off royally. And I don't know whether I'll bleep that. Um, <laughs> so Jamie Cumming is going to be in goal. I've been playing Nicholas Ty, but then he decided to go on international duty. Reese James is going to be at right back. Alonso at left back. Tamori and Christensen at centre halves. Jorginho in defensive midfield. Kovacic and Loftus Cheek in the centre of midfield. Pulisic out on the right, Hudson Adore on the left, and Batshuayi up top. So the game begins, and Pulisic has picked up a knock early doors, which isn't great. But yeah, it'll be interesting in this game. Norwich, you'd think nothing to play for, whereas we need to secure our Champions League spot. So hopefully, we can uh, return to winning ways and actually get the job done as Arsenal actually take the lead against Liverpool, which is bad for us, but also bad for Liverpool's title. Uh, bid because if we have a look what Man City are doing they're away at West Ham so that could be a tough game actually but it's half time here and there was not a single highlight in that first half um, so yeah what should I say to them um, I'm just going to say unlucky boys things haven't gone right for us so far but yeah poor not a single highlight I'm actually going to change some things up. Pulisic actually picked up a knock as well as Adam Ida is in and coming makes a save. Well, that's the first highlight we've seen. It came 15 seconds or so into the second half as we come forward. Reese James whips the ball in, headed away by Zimmerman and Roberts continues to get it away. Alonso finds Hudson Odoi. It loses out to Max Aarons, but his clearance is poor. Straight to Loftus Cheek. Alonso, can he get a ball in? He does. Pulisic is there. Kovacic, oh, strikes one, but it's blocked. And now Norwich can come away. Puki releases Adam Ida and shot straight at Jamie Cumming, who turns over. Norwich have started the half really well. We've brought on Tammy for Pulisic. Going to play Tammy out wide on the left. Switch Hudson Odoi out to the right. William hasn't featured. He's been in really poor form, so just been exploring other options. As now Adam Ida is in again. Is it going to be third time? Lucky again, Jamie Cumming shuts the door but if anyone is going to make the breakthrough in this game it's certainly going to be Norwich Pukki with a header coming saves at his near post Kovacic with the corner whips in Pukki is there to head away though but Kovacic will get another bite here finds Tammy finds in and well Michi heads over Zimmerman with a throw in and Brendia finds Aaron's but hey, Tammy Abraham does very well to win the ball back and now we can come forward potentially Jorginho back to Christensen and we find Alonso out wide. Now we work it on the pitch nicely, patiently. Good switch to Hudson-Odoi. 
Loftus cheek, Alonso in a lot of space, and that's where Jorginho goes. He could slide in. Tammy he does exactly that. Tammy in behind, and he's hit the post. I think. I think there was a mixture of keeper and post. Kovacic with the corner in again. That's right, the near post. And oh my word, how has Tim Krul kept that one out? And again, we get the corner in. That's right, the near post knocks down for Tamori, and we finally find the back of the net. Fortunate circumstances, but we will take it. We absorb the Norwich pressure. Pashway is header down. Tamori's shot blocked. Falls straight back to him. The keeper already down. And it is 1 0 to Chelsea. We are in the driving seat in terms of Champions League qualification. Arsenal 3 up against Liverpool. How is City getting on? We don't know. Excellent. City are losing as well. And United are drawing. What a final day this is turning out to be. As the clock ticks down, I haven't really been paying attention, to be honest. Well, 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 look at that. Liverpool are going to win the league. Oh, just zoomed out a lot there. Um, Liverpool are going to win the league based on the fact that them and Man City lose on the final day. Abraham nods on. Zimmerman playing a little bit riskily at the back, but they get it away. But Jorginho will collect. Loftus cheek now. And Alonso releases Bashwai. Oh, and he hits the post, but he's there on the rebound. Calamitous defending, and with two minutes to go. That is the game wrapped up. Well, it's been a tough game, a lot tougher than I would have expected. But we've seen it through. Batshuayi plays a 1-2 with himself off the post. Cruel, really unfortunate. Batshuayi, the quickest to react. And he has sealed the deal for us. And, well, West Ham are beating Man City, so our loss to them doesn't look as bad now. Um, but, yeah, they've been in really good form. As you can see on the right-hand side, they have gone above Spurs in the race for Europa League as uh, Norwich have a shot that goes wide. But that is going to be full-time. A really good game, actually. Fair play to Norwich. They really came out as gave us a test. But our superiority shone through. And there you can see Arsenal 4-1 winners in the end against Liverpool. We can't do that. But, um, yeah, United drew as well. City lost. So there is the final Premier League table. Liverpool champions, two point gap over Man City. I'm sure City fans wish it was that close in real life, but not to be. City, no, United third on 85, then us nine points back in fourth. But Champions League football has been secured. Arsenal, West Ham, and Spurs secure Europa League. A decent second half of the season for Spurs, considering the start that they made. Brighton are the team to lose out. Them, Burnley and Villa are the ones that go down. Uh, let's have a look. Championship. Player finals between Fulham and Reading. Oh, come on, Reading. That would be amazing if you go up. So Leeds come up. Cardiff come up as well. And then when of Fulham and Reading will join us. So if we have a look at the Premier League stats as well. Callum Wilson, 29 goals. Top scorer in the division, absolutely fantastic. Willian, our top goal scorer in the Premier League, was 16, which is not bad for a winger as well. But none of our strikers in the top 20, which is a bit disappointing. Average rating, Kovacic got our best average rating in the in the uh, Premier League, which doesn't surprise me. But Cancelo is the man with the best average rating, surprisingly perhaps. In terms of assists, Adama Traore up there. Emerson, our best with eight. Most man of the matches, well, William, very unfortunate. Uh, dropped off second half of the season, really. Aguero and Callum Wilson tied up there with the most man of the matches. William only one off. And Kovacic down there with four as well. It's nice to see. In terms of clean sheets, Kepa there in eighth. Only got ten clean sheets, which isn't great. We're going to need to, uh, if we're going to mount a serious challenge, we need to be up in these areas, sort of around the 20 plus. So, um,. Yeah, quite a lot of work to do. And yeah, I think that's about it in terms of uh, league stats. We'll go through and uh, wait for the awards to come out. And then I'll uh, we'll show you that. And uh, yeah, we'll wrap up the season. Well, I was going to jump straight to it. You could hear the elation in my voice. I was going to jump straight to the awards. But I've got to show you this. Our budget for next season. We qualify for the Champions League. Do you want to see it? Boom! 177 million to spend. Oh, this is going to be 
Look at that weight. Oh, this is going to be a good summer. I'm so glad I'm carrying this on. Right, I am gonna. I'm gonna push forward now. I'll speak to you in a sec. Right, here we are then. The end of season awards. Willian picks up fans player of the season, followed by Kovacic and Hudson Odoi. Emerson gets goal of the season for his rocket on the first day. I've got two achievements just come through as well. I'm going to see what they are in a second. But yeah, this was the in the first minute of the season. Giroud, ball over, Emerson on the volley. I mean, are we, I think we all remember that. Absolutely superb, but yeah. What a goal. Young player of the season, Tamori. Really nice to see in terms of stats. Top goal scorer, Willian and hudson Odoi, both with 21 goals. That is absurd for wingers to get. Absolutely superb. Uh, highest average, Willian, 7.37. Most assists, Willian, 10 assists. Jorginho, best pass completion. Most of the matches, Willian and hudson Odoi alike. And there we go. Jorginho and Dave, 16 yellow cards each, Jesus. This is our team of the season, so Kepper in goal. Dave at right back, Emerson at left back. Tamori and Christensen at centre halves, interestingly. No room for Rudiger. I thought Zuma might be in there. I wonder how much better we would have done with Zuma if he hadn't broken his leg. Well, I guess one of those things we'll never know. Jorginho, Kovacic and Kante in the midfield. And then the front three, William hudson Odoi, Abraham. It's what you expect, really, isn't it? But a season review. We lost in the Champions League. I mean, it's probably better looking at it this way, to be fair. We expected to get to the quarterfinal. We did exactly that. Expected to qualify for the Champions League. We did exactly that. Runner-up in the Super Cup. They didn't care. Knocked out in the sixth round in the FA Cup. I think the expectation was to get to the final or something. Um, so, yeah, really disappointed. Knocked out in the semi. So, we've had a decent year all round. We've had some decent cup runs. FA Cup would have been nice to do a bit better in, but there we go. Um, and yeah, match of the season, us beating Newcastle 5 0. To the end of this season, my contract expires, but it doesn't matter. We're, we're supposed to become the most reputable team in England. Qualify for the Champions League. So we, our, our expectation is the same, which is fine. It saves only carrying on for one more season anyway. So fine. Yeah, accept that. That's all well and good. So Emerson won goal in the season. Well, there you go. That's what one of the achievements was. Absolutely superb strike. Onel Hernandez and Zinchenko missing out. Morata, top goal scorer in Spain. I think his move is yeah permanent. So we won't be getting him back. And then, yeah, top Spanish goal scorer. Very well done to Morata. So in terms of our squad then, if we have a look, in terms of appearances, hudson Adoy made the most appearances. That's quite surprising. Wanted by Man United. A lot of our players wanted. It's going to be an interesting summer. But yeah, hudson Adoy, 49 games, 21 goals, 7 assists, 7.3 average rating. Been superb for us this season. Um, yeah, I just remember, it, my mind always goes back to the Phantom episode. Um, yeah, that he was like, oh, he needs to do better. And then from that moment on, he just turned it around and was absolutely superb. He only scored seven goals in the uh, in the Prem, eight in the Champions League. <laughs> Big stage player is hudson Adoy. I think hopefully we can keep him around. I mean, we're only going to let some of these players go if we receive ridiculous bids. Um, hudson Odoi, yeah, certainly someone I don't want to let go of. But yeah, he's um, been superb for us this season. Kovacic again as well, there, 47 appearances. He's been superb. Absolute machine in the centre of midfield. I thought Kante would be the standout player, but I think Kovacic has outshone him well and truly. He's been absolutely superb for us this year. In terms of other players, shout out, of course, William up there, 46. Kante, 45. Christensen actually made 50. It's a fair play to him. In terms of goals, well, only three players in double figures. hudson Odoi and Willian, as we've already said. Willian is wanted by Man United. And Willian is actually out of contract in the summer. So, it'd be interesting. I, th I mean, it, we'd be stupid not to keep him around. But it, it depends entirely on what he wants to do, I suppose. Yeah, Willian and hudson Odoi were 21 apiece. Tammy were 13. Would have been nice to see Tammy get a few more. But then... I changed the strikers around a fair bit. So, um, yeah, 13 still not a too bad return, I suppose. Giroud got 9, Kante got 8, and then a smattering of others around the squad. In terms of assists, only one player in double figures again, which is William Emerson, 9. Alonso, 7. Hudson Odoi and Kovacic, 7 as well. Dave got 6. Rich James got 5. Nice there to see. In terms of average rating, William, the man of the year. Well... 
I don't know. I don't know who who I would say because William was superb the first half of the season, but then really dropped off. I mean, if we have a look, I, if we have a look now, the form will completely go against that. But again, as you can see, six point five, six point four, six point five. I mean, yeah, there's a seven and an eight point five in there. But in terms, again, just sort of not as not as electric as he was in the first half of the season, where Callum Hudson and Doy. I bet this will completely prove me wrong. Again, last few games wasn't great, but then a bit more solid showing. So, um, yeah, certainly those two up there. But then honourable mentions as well. Alonso and Emerson both did really well. Loftus Cheek, when he's played, has done really well. To be fair to him, um, Jorginho, you know, just all round we've had a good season, but we need to be so much better. And I think with the well, with that war chest that we have. It's going to be hard not to. I'm not too sure where I want to strengthen. I think another winger maybe just to provide competition. Maybe a solid backup keeper uh, if we are going to go with Kepa. I probably will, but those mistakes just annoyed me. So we're going to need a fairly solid backup. Um, maybe another centre midfielder. Depends what system we play. But um, yeah, that will certainly be something I'll look at over the summer. And I hope you have enjoyed this season, guys. It's been... Um, it's been a roller coaster of emotions. It's been tough considering we haven't been able to sign any players. Yeah, like I said, one more season just so we can throw some money at this team. See how we see where we can get it and see where we get how we get on. So if you have enjoyed it guys, please pop a like on there for me, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you for the start of next season. Cheers guys.